Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today we're going to look at another new band for us, but they've been around for about 40 years. The name of the band is Rata Blanca. It's Argentinian. That translates to White Rat in English, which I thought was funny. They are a heavy metal band, and it looks like they actually began in 1986. It further looks like they have the same guitarist and lead singer, at the very least, that started the band. Walter Giardino is the guitarist, and he's a highly acclaimed player. And then Adrian Barilari is the singer. We don't know a whole lot about this band, except that they're metal and that they were requested, and we were very curious to see what they sounded like. The name of the song is El Reino Olvidado, and this says video official Vivo Luna Park. Not crystal clear quality, but the uh, the sound should be okay, so I thought it would be all right for us to check out. Rado Blanca, right, right, well, let's check it out. All right, let's do that. <laughs>
Wow, that was that was uh, great. Classic metal in every sense of both words. Yeah, I would agree with that. You know, they kind of had almost a deep purple vibe with uh, Bruce Dickinson singing. You know, hmm. and maybe a pinch of Foreigner and some some of the eighties type sound. You know, a little bit. I was thinking about Journey, actually, for some reason. If Journey was a lot heavier, they would sound like this, I think. To me, Journey and Foreigner are are so similar in a lot of ways. I mean, they, they came out at the same time, put out very similar type of music. Uh, I, I happen to like Journey better than Foreigner, but Foreigner, you know, there were some great things about Foreigner. Lou Graham uh, definitely being one of them. And then he yeah, sounded a little like Lou Graham too, you know. So mm-hmm. I want, I would like to learn a little bit more about this song, like when it came out. It I think this gig, okay, June of two thousand nine, okay, and it came off. There's an actual album called El Reno Olvidado. So that looks like two thousand eight, and the name is funny. I must say, the name is is kind of hilarious. You know, at this point, they'd been a band for over twenty years. An English language version of the album was recorded with Doogie White, who has worked with Rainbow and Ingve Malmsteen on the vocals. Uh, so that's interesting. That's very interesting. And it looks like, gosh, the uh, guitarist Walter Giardino is the guy that wrote all of these m- songs. I mean, yeah, the guitars are great on this song as well. You know, and the vocals, of course. Yeah, I might have to check out the English version just to get a sense, you know, uh, of the songs. But that that singer, he, he was fantastic, you know. Yeah. He really was. Good stuff. Well, I really appreciate this suggestion. This is a cool band and going to have to check out more, I think, because I really like their sound. I concur. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. All right. So, folks, those of you that are fans of Rata Blanca... Please let us know your experiences below with the band. If you have any of their music, if you've been to any of their concerts, if you know this song inside out, <laughs> any of that, if there are other songs of theirs that you think that we should check out, please leave those below. We'd be really interested to check them out. And give us your thoughts on this song, too. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for joining us on this one, and we will catch you on the next one. All right. Take care, folks. See you all later.